For some using transit during this pandemic, concerns over overcrowding are real. The TTC says it's doing what it can to provide the safest ride. CTV's Haran Fennell reports. Dan Monick took this photo on one of his early morning commutes. Riders are shoulder to shoulder. You're seeing the first 40% of the bus and you're seeing at least 22 people jammed into a very, very small space. Monick is an essential worker at a meat production plant in Etobicoke and takes the Bloor Danforth bus to work. He's written a formal complaint to the TTC asking for service to be on time. Because if something is 10 minutes off of its normal time, it will be packed. Uh, it changes your standards of normality as well. There are certain times I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. A DTC spokesperson says 95% of all bus trips have fewer than 25 people on board, half a vehicle's capacity. The few routes that are busy are not downtown, says this former driver. Uh, Finch, Steeles, uh, Northwest End, also sometimes the East End where there are a lot of warehouses and factories. A former driver tells us he recently quit because of overwhelming stress. Other drivers who are still on the job and unvaccinated say they're too fearful to speak out. Drivers have an incredibly dangerous job. Uh, it's not their responsibility to manage every single person that's coming on that bus. That bus would never move if they had to go through and, and, and do that. The Amalgamated Transit Union is asking for rear door boarding, the two seats behind the operator to be blocked off and to stop cash payments and paper transfers. Everyone is uncomfortable. Everyone just wants to get to their destination and they're hoping that the next stop or whatever it is, not many people are going to get on. The TTC says in part, quote, we take all the feedback we receive on a daily basis about busy routes from customers, operators and our own technology and use that to inform our service delivery. Saran Vanel, CTV News.